Hi, this is Hope. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to personalize your dashboard in ITG Center. So I'll show you how to create dashboard pages and add portlets so that you can organize your stuff within ITG Center. So what are dashboard pages? So dashboard pages help you organize ITG Center. So you can customize them and you can create multiple pages for different things that you're doing within the tool. You can add portlets to dashboard pages. So what is a portlet? A portlet gives you the ability to view information in ITG Center. So it's a query on the data in ITG Center. So it, the portlet queries the data and then displays the result back to you. So you don't have to go and search for tasks and uh, timesheets each time you go to the system. It will just have that information ready for you in your dashboard page. So let me go to the tool itself. This is the first time I've signed in to ITG Center, so there are no dashboard pages for me. It tells me that in this note that appears here. So to create them, I go to the main menu in Dashboard, select Dashboard, and then Personalize Dashboard. Pops up the Personalize Dashboard page, and I can create new pages within this area and add portlets here. So this little page button with the plus sign on it pops up a new page option. I want to go there and click that. And I now have a new page and I want to add a name for this page. Since I'm going to use this to track timesheets or create timesheets and check on my tasks, I'm going to name this Manage My Tasks. You'll note that changes to the page are automatically saved. That's great. I don't have to remember to save it. But you should note that in some areas of ITG Center, you will have to click Save. You'll see that in some of the other tutorials. So I'm going to go ahead and click Close to get rid of that warning. And now that I've named my page, you can see that it changed over here. I want to add portlets. So I click on the Add Portlets button new window pops up where I can search for portlets to add and from this category menu I want to check time management so I just clicked on that drop down menu and then selected time management and then find portlets I'll click on that button too let me move this up so you can see it a little better so these are the three portlets for time management that I can add to my dashboard page. My task displays all project tasks currently assigned to me and that are scheduled within two weeks from the current date. And my timesheets displays timesheets for me during the past 10 time periods. I want both of those in my dashboard page because I want that information. So I'm going to check the box next to those two items. I'm not going to add my work items since it's for items on my open timesheets. And I don't have any timesheets right now, but I can come back in and add that later if I think it might be helpful to me. But for now, just my tasks and my timesheets. And then click Add. And now these are added to this portlet section for edit page. One thing I can do if I want to is I can actually rearrange these. So right now my tasks is up on top. If I wanted to, you can see I just clicked and dragged on the portlet, the little placeholder for it in this add portlet section. I can rearrange those if I want. So I'm, I'm just clicking and dragging and swapping them around. And that's how I can move them over here if I want to. And if I want to see what this looks like, I can click Preview, but I really just want to go to the page itself. So over here on the left, go to Page View, the little back arrow. I'll click on that. And my tasks and my timesheets appears. Now if I wanted to go back and make changes to this page, again, I just need to go to Dashboard and personalize dashboard. And I also have the option if I want to to just directly edit the portlets with this little edit button over here. There's a little drop down that I can check on. It'll get me the option to edit 
the portlet or edit portlet title if I want to do that. Or I can just delete it if I want to do that too. I actually don't want to do that, so I'm going to click Cancel. So that's all there is to personalizing your dashboard page.